Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I'm your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I hope that you hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you a part of the family. I'm a Cancer. I cater to the Cancers right here on the Cancerian Vibe. So make sure that you um, turn on your notification bell so you're notified when I upload other readings because it'll always be for Cancer. You guys, of course join me over on my main tarot page as well boss lady b tarot if i can remember which has not been my memory has not been great lately y'all so bear with me um I, if i can remember i'll put the channel in the eye so you can just easily click over and join me over there so you can um watch readings for your other placements um i also post additional content for cancer on that channel because of course, I'm not going to leave cancer out. They just get a little extra love over here on the Cancer and Vibe. So, yeah, y'all. Um, if you notice, I haven't done any daily messages this week. Y'all, just pray for me, okay? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just, yeah. I think I'm just, yeah. Um, if you're waiting for a personal reading from me, definitely um, be on the lookout. Check your inboxes um, because those are coming to you very, very soon. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of been my focus lately is personal readings definitely let me know if you are interested in, in a personal reading i'm trying to get them back at a faster rate so i can get my turnaround time back down so yeah um definitely let me know if you're interested in a personal reading so yeah don't look for any daily messages this week y'all so <laughs> yeah just go ahead and yeah <laughs> but i wanted to come in you guys i was so um gracious enough to get connected to this deck um um gifted this deck so i wanted to come in and of course use it on my cancers uh we're just gonna come in do a little timeless reading see what comes out for cancer um since i'm not doing any daily messages we'll just see you know what needs to be said what's going on <clears throat> excuse me with cancer and so like i said this is a timeless reading so it can resonate um you know now it can resonate later um you know it's just for whenever you need it for whoever needs it basically okay um, so except when you are called to this reading and let's just get into it y'all. So thank you spirit for clear, accurate messages for my cancers. What's going on? What does cancer need to hear right now? What message? What's going on with cancer? In love. <laughs> y'all, what am I talking about in love? See, cancer, I feel like you, cancer, you might be falling in love. Because I did not say, I did not mean to say in love. Like, it just literally, y'all, I felt so dreamy saying it. Like, it literally, I felt like I was going off to sleep. How I'd be, you know how you be half asleep, half awake, and you just be talking. <laughs> That's how it really came out of my mouth. Like, cancer in love. So, I don't know, y'all. That, um, that past love reading I did was something interesting. So, let's see what comes out. Uh, <laughs> let's see what comes out. Thank you, Spirit. Clear and accurate messages for my cancers. All right, did something flip over? No. Clear and accurate, y'all. But marriage keeps showing itself. I knew it because I keep seeing. Look, so marriage is here, new birth. That's what it feels like, Cancer. That's what it feels like. But we got, um, y'all. So, okay, this is a message right here. Let me tell you before, because I'm not going to keep it on. I'm going to put it back in the deck and I'm going to shuffle right. But, so let me tell you, somebody, somebody is going down memory lane. You know how love just came off out my mouth. So this is like a love situation real quick. If you ain't interested in love, I'm going to try to remember the time stamp it so you can just fast forward for this. But this is somebody, this is like, um, if you've had a ending, a, if you just recently had like an ending in love or, um, yeah, it's like somebody's just had an ending in love. There could be like um, conflict or whatever between you two. Um, maybe not even necessarily like a finite ending. It's just like maybe there's separation at the moment, but somebody's going down memory lane. It feels like maybe both of you are going down memory lane. But something, some this had to happen to expose some type of pattern for you, Cancer. 
that you run into. And it's like, now you're going to be able to choose a healthier way. Um, you know, look, okay. So somebody's relationship had to get broken down. Okay. It was like spirit came in and probably used this retrograde. So this, if you like experience a breakup or like a separation in this retrograde, that's what it feels like. <laughs> this re this retrograde was used to like shift some things around and expose some patterns for you so you may have definitely experienced like an ending um but i feel like for somebody this relationship is going to the next level like marriage um y'all are gonna have kids but because of that because there's like a future a solid future in this connection some ugly pattern some unhealthy pattern some unhealthy addiction that you have in relationships and love had to be brought out and exposed so yeah there's that it had to be exposed and so things had to happen the way that they had to happen um for for you to kind of understand this pattern and, and it feels like finally close out this cycle all right, but let's get to the real reading. What messages do you have for cancer? What messages do you have for cancer spirit? Okay, two just want to come out. So look, we got leap of faith. Wow, and career change. So definitely look, your whole world is about to change because we got transition here at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, you could be... Um, right now contemplating taking a leap of faith and changing your career like changing something that you do <clears throat> so um leap of faith it says deep down you'll know the key to creating the life of your dreams is on the other side of fear it won't be easy to take a leap into the unknown but just remember the universe will catch you so yeah you you don't know you don't know what to expect you don't know what's coming and that scares cancer because cancer likes to have the control on everything cancer likes to know so i get it um but we got career change here it says a new opportunity comes this is a new beginning that will challenge you to get out of your comfort zone so this isn't easy yeah whatever this new opportunity is it's requiring you to get out of that shell cancer and expand your horizons no more playing small time to dream big time to dream big because this is it this is a significant life change here for you cancer growth is here happening for you um and y'all i just caught 12 12 it just turned 12 12 where i am and i got a notification that made the my ipad over here just light up so i had to catch the 12 12 so there could be a message in that number for you um today is the 13th october the 13th and this card this career change card is the 13th so you could have you could have just gotten this in like your spirit today on the 13th you know you could feel kind of taboo about it um and you know it's so funny because <laughs> this is so funny it's resonating for um in a way where someone reached out to me and they aren't even a cancer y'all it's like they woke up you know, they woke up and were contemplating this career change. So it definitely could be the same for you. Let's see. What messages do you have for cancer? What messages do you have for cancer? Oop. Yeah, look. <laughs> and two keeps coming out. Two cards keep coming out. That's not coincidence. The twos are all about making a decision, cancer. It's time. You got choices to make, plans to make. It's time to make some decisions. And look, it feels like you may be, <laughs> look, things are going to change quickly because uncertainty and swiftness came out here, right? Uncertainty and swiftness. So, and I feel like this uncertainty, even though it talks about y'all, okay, so this uncertainty is going two ways because it's like you're, un you don't know about this, this leap of faith, this change here, this career change, but it also says people may be playing mind games with you or leaving out information on purpose, which could lead to confusion and frustration. Be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. See, yeah, it feels like someone, um, with that love situation, that could have been what happened. It was like some uncertainty in the connection. You're uncertain about where y'all stand. But um, that won't last for long either because I feel like things are changing swiftly. Swiftness, it says events will be moving at a fast pace. And you may find yourself juggling multiple responsibilities at once. Be flexible as events, activities, and other unexpected things arise. So just know that as these things changing quickly, like you are still protected. Um, you're being divinely guided now. Trust that you're being di divinely guided. Your intuition is telling you. And look here, so we have 56 and 57. 
this uncertainty, but it's progress. 56 to 57. <clears throat> I'm going to pull one more. Give me one more here for cancer. One more here for cancer. Oop. Yeah, look. So forgiveness coming out. You are finally getting over something or someone, and though it wasn't easy, you will ultimately forgive and move on peacefully to set yourself free. Look, and it feels like um, cancer, this forgiveness could be happening um, with this uncertainty. Like, you know that, you know that people may be playing with you because your intuition is telling you. Um, inner child is here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone had some inner child issues. Either you're healing inner child issues or inner child issues um, could have been like an issue in a connection. But yeah, let's see. I'm going to put some tarot on this and see what's going on. So look, and the lover is at the bottom of the deck. So it definitely feels like there's a big decision to make. Big decisions, major life changes. It's crazy, Cancer. Tell me about leap of faith. Clarify leap of faith here for Cancer. Look, you need to take swift action on it, I'll tell you that. Whatever this is, it's like, don't sit too long. Yeah, look, with the magician at the bottom of the deck, yeah, it's time to take action. But temperance coming out, you guys, there's a balance. Um, and So some of you are maybe trying to, like, control, you know, moderately make this change. But it's something that you're going to have to, like, really just go for. It's something that you're just really going to have to just go all in for. That's what it feels like with this temperance. Also, too, is like stop trying to stop trying to um, overanalyze it and listen to what your heart is saying. Like your heart is leading the way. Your heart is leading the way. Tell me, um, tell me more about career change here for cancer. So we got the four cups. Yeah, someone, someone's like bored with what they're doing right now. They're not, you're, it's like you're seeking more. You're wanting more with the four cups coming out. Um, and look, there's a new opportunity. There's that new opportunity that's being handed to you. Um, and it feels like you'll be celebrating it really, really soon. This is a new beginning that's being handed to you by the divine. Tell me about uncertainty here for cancer. It feels like um, for someone, it feels like you don't know if this is like in a love situation, y'all could be married. Like, it's like you don't even know the relationship status. It's like y'all just, you don't know what it is. <laughs> That's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. So, I mean, clarify uncertainty for cancer. Ooh, could be a, y'all, could be a king of pinnacles we're dealing with Virgo, capricorn taurus i feel like he's been popping up in the readings too um this could just be someone a king of pinnacles doesn't have to necessarily be a virgo capricorn taurus they could have it in their chart um but the king of pinnacles is someone that's kind of practical offers some security you know offers materials um you know money has money look good you know um <laughs> maybe there's some uncertainty with this person you know you felt like they were you felt like they were the deal you felt like they were trying to offer you something real, but maybe you're thinking um, you need to make a, an exit <laughs> with the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So, let's see. Tell me more about, look, um, with the Ace of Wands trying to come out. So, it feels like this forgiveness may be trying to come from this situation. Clarify. Tell me more about uncertainty. Tell me more about uncertainty. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like you, if this is in a relationship, y'all definitely, it's like something came out. Maybe you thought y'all were making plans, like, <laughs> um, but you're uncertain, uncertain of the stability of, excuse me, of the stability of this connection. You thought y'all were making plans. There could also be like a third party here in this um, connection. But we got, do have the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So it does feel like it's in a connection. But um, yeah, there could be some. And you know, too, it's like 
cancer i feel like you're going to be able to stand up for yourself here it's like you feel empowered you know okay clarify swiftness for cancer tell me what's going on here with swiftness oh yes cancer look you get the clarity the ace of swords you get that clarity and you move you move on into your ten of cups okay and it's going to that's why i said things are going to be changing quickly for you too with this leap of faith once you take this leap of faith um i feel like that's what you're moving into yeah but somebody's like intuition or like you got some type of clarity after this uncertainty um <laughs> and all the aces are trying to show up as i'm getting ready to clarify forgiveness this ace of wands just keeps coming out y'all so i'm gonna leave it right there and clarify it um clarify the clarify forgiveness for cancer yeah somebody wants to start new or it's you that wants to start new but you're moving on you're moving on to peace cancer look headed towards your ten of cups pack and light okay tell me more about forgiveness focusing on your work okay yeah because cancer your energy popping up the chariot here at the bottom of the deck eight of coins focusing on this career change that's what you're doing that's what you're doing. It's focusing on this career change, doing something new, learning something new. That's where you put in your um your energy. Clarify the ace of wands that wants to keep popping out here. What's this ace of wands? Okay, look, stagnation and um, action coming out. So look, where you where you thought things were stagnant, it says realize that perceived delays are not always bad, but a process your soul needs to go through to activate your soul's potential. So take a deep breath, enjoy the journey, and trust the divine plan. Because yeah, look, action is right behind it. So once you get this clarity, once you get this clarity about this new beginning cancer, it says no more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. It's time to take action. It's time to come out of stagnation with this ace of um ace of wands. Come out of stagnation. It's like new um, new enthusiasm too. It's like you get a new inspiration to do something. Like you just get this burst of willpower to just go for it. Because yes, um, Cancer, it's something. It, it feels like this career change could be in regards to doing something that you found out that you're talented. Um, like you're talented. Like there's some type of talent. And I feel like that came up in a reading for you, Cancer. Like, you know, there's something you can monetize on your talent. And so some of you um, seem to be doing that. It's like you may be sitting here thinking about it, sitting here in la-la land. But soon you're going to get this new burst, this new energy, this new opportunity that's going to make this leap of faith look into your happiness. You're entering a period of happiness and leaving dark times behind you. Taking steps into a new chapter where happiness begins and peace is restored. And that's how it's popping up, y'all. With the fool, the fool is walking um, straight into this Ten of Cups. So, Cancer, like, you are headed towards your happiness. You are headed towards your happiness. Um, let's see. Um, see, yeah, look, so discipline came out, it says you will improve your self-control and not allow impulses or feelings to dictate your choices by making level-headed decisions that will bring more peace and harmony to your life. So cancer, yeah, you're needing to exercise some discipline in regards to this choice. Don't, um, don't just make, you know, a knee-jerk reaction. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition about um what you don't know about the unknown going forward what you can't see because your intuition is guiding you it's like this light for you your intuition is your superpower you are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the decisions you make so yeah big big decisions big life changes happening any other messages here for cancer look getting clarity <laughs> clarity the truth is about to be revealed to you for somebody, it already was. 
um, which will allow you to feel more at ease with the past events that remain unanswered until now. And suddenly it will all make sense. Suddenly it will all make sense. And don't and don't feel like um I feel like someone's going to regret. Y'all, so I'm seeing this story like two ways. It does feel like this is <clears throat> can't say if you're like in a connection situation ship whatever wherever y'all are it's like something in your intuition cancer told you like you got clarity about the situation and now you know now that you have this clarity you're able to move forward but i feel as though this other person will regret whatever this was because you you've been up and leave <laughs> like or like you had you know you had this this power, this, like, you you can move forward. Everything is answered for you. You got the clarity. You got the know-how. You're taking action. Like, you got you got other things to worry about, Karen. So, you, you focus on your coin. You focus on your coin. That's what it feels like. Anything else here for cancer? Anything else here for cancer? Anything else here for cancer? Yeah, um, look, the unseen. Yeah, this is, this is for somebody. This is, like, someone from your past. Someone from your past. There could be some closure happening. There could be some forgiveness happening. Um, but either way, cancer it feels like you're free. It says, though life may seem uneventful to you, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes. Okay? While you rest, trust and surrender to the universe. <clears throat> so, yeah, cancer. Some things are happening. Some tectonic plates are moving behind the scenes. I'm going to pull an oracle card to close out the reading. Hopefully, you found it helpful and it resonated. So, yeah, look. Someone's going for some healing. And look. Yeah, look. We're moving into the into the winter. It says, okay, but healing came out. And, y'all, this is what I'm seeing. Um, this reminds me. I don't know if y'all can tell the rainbow. But this reminds me of the, um, temper, the judgment card. Or is it the temperance? With the two cups, with the, remember, I had just pointed this out in the last reading. Um, the two cups with the with the rainbow that was going between it. So it does feel like there's going to be some healing in regards to the connection for somebody. Um, now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a, a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Um and definitely it feels like, look, so this winter, this winter cancer, the things that you're manifesting, it's like you may not see them now, but you could start seeing them in the winter, like in the colder months. And winter is like right around the corner for, for me on my side of the world. Um, final messages for cancer. So yeah, look, inspiration. That's what this is. This Ace of Wands, inspiration, be prepared. As soon you'll receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she will call at any time. So yeah, Cancer, there definitely could be some like, let's see, I'm going to read the message, but there could be like some spark that just comes to you out of nowhere and you just like get up and you keep it moving, okay? Um, So it went right to healing, so maybe I'm supposed to read that message. Um, so I'll just read that. <laughs> so healing, it says, um, the fairy of healing has flown into your reading today to let you know she can help you heal yourself or another. Healing can take many forms, even though just through listening, when we feel we're being heard, it can make us feel better. So people who have the ability to listen with love and without judgment are already healers. Sometimes just being in the presence of someone who is receptive to our thoughts and feelings can help us feel uplifted and healed. Hands-on healing is a technique many feel drawn to, and perhaps this is something you too wish to explore. Are you in need of healing yourself? It's important to listen to your body and to take time out <clears throat> so it can heal naturally. Make sure you're getting all the correct vitamins and nutrients. Sleep can also be an amazing healer. This card could also be a reminder that you or someone close to you needs to visit a health professional. The fairy of healing can assist you, can assist with your healing journey, whether you're using conventional or complementary healing methods. 
The fairy of healing is also asking you to explore healing therapies that may be new to you, such as aromatherapy, um, art therapy, flower essences, or hands-on healing. Um, art therapy is especially helpful for younger people as it allows them to express their feelings through the use of color and painting, and this can aid in their healing. If this card shows up next to the Fine Balance card, this indicates your need for extra extra rest right now. And um, I do feel like they're like I'm seeing the balance in that because that's like that's what I'm seeing that card, the balance, what I'm talking about, the rainbow. So, Cancer, you may definitely need some rest because look, things are about to pop off. Take the rest while you got it because things are about to pop off, okay? So I'm going to read the inspiration message. Um, it says, the fairy of inspiration is full of ideas and will gladly share them with you. All you need to do is be receptive to her whisperings. She may plant, she may plant the most fantastical ideas in your head, but remember, you always have a choice. So if an idea doesn't resonate for you, then simply let it go. It may be meant for someone else. When an idea does resonate, however, go with the fairy flow and trust where it may lead. Sit back and enjoy the fairy ride of fun and creativity as you transform inspirational ideas into reality. Perhaps it's time to plant your own seeds, your own ideas. Take a trip from this car as helpful fairy and plant your seeds of inspiration and fertile soil, allowing them to grow using positivity combined with practical action. Call on this friendly fairy whenever you feel lacking inspiration. To connect with her, go outside and just be in nature. Or if you're unable to get out, meditate on a photo of nature in a magazine or online. Allow your senses to perceive the beauty all around and set your intention to the, allow the inspiration to flow. The fairy of inspiration is the sister of the fairy of manifestation. So if this card appears in a spread with the manifestation card, then magic and miracles will be close behind. Magic and miracles, y'all. The fairy of inspiration will also encourage you to inspire those around you. So yeah, and, and that could be, you know, what this um, nudge for you is, Cancer, this career change. You could be um, being called to like inspire others, do, you know, heal others with this healing coming out, you know, right on point with Cancer. And that's going to take some discipline as you move forward out of this time of stagnation into action. It's like a new inspiration. Get ready, Cancer. Okay, look, you got things to do, but I'm gonna leave it right there. I really do hope that the reading resonates with someone. Remember, you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I really, really appreciate it and would love to have you a part of the family. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, until next time, you guys, I love you.